This is the one that I really like for this year. This is my Euro call of last year equivalent. I went to Switzerland recently with a number of friends for skiing. I couldn't do any skiing because I damaged my eye. So I sat in the hotel and uh, I ordered a cup of tea. All right, fairly simple thing to do. So the cup arrives with the tea bag. There's no ceremony, there's no cucumber sandwiches, there's no silver platters, nothing like that. The guy dunks the tea bag in it and says, that will be seven Swiss francs, which by the way is about five pounds and a bit. Um, okay, fair enough, but the tea's not very strong. It's one of those Swiss insipid um, tea bags. So I asked for another one, tea bag that is, and he charged me for another cup of tea, all right? Switzerland, if you've been to it, is ruinously expenses, expensive because the currency is out of whack. Now, I know that the Swiss franc has been a widow-maker trade for decades. People have gone short of it. People have taken mortgages out in Eastern Europe. People in Austria have taken out Swiss franc mortgages, and it's been very much to their detriment. But on January the 15th this year, the Swiss uh, Central Bank unpegged its currency against the euro, and it fell from about 120 well, it was 120, down to at 1.80 something cents, and it's now around parity, about 102 or 103. Switzerland at that price is going to have severe problems. They're either going to have to have a massive internal devaluation, which means compressing wages, which means austerity, which they're not going to do because they're Swiss and they like their good life and they like looking at their watch collections and munching on chocolate and counting their money. So they're not going to accept internal um, devaluation. Uh, and as a result of that, the Swiss franc is going to fall because a large part of the Swiss economy is what you might call Mittelstand equivalent of Germany, so manufacturing companies which are basically being priced out of markets. And it's, it's being reflected in Swiss GDP growth, which is probably going to